everybody this is mason you're tuning into the youtube channel watch that Pup, guys i hope you're having a fantastic day fantastic week thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video all right guys this is video number three of the week of my southern california funko pop hunting adventures i go out with my wife and with Nick from the Bands for Arm Shop to a bunch of fun Funko Pop shops that he likes to go to on his Funko Pop hunts looking for things and we go to those awesome stores. So we find some good deals on things. We also buy some things that I've been looking for to add to the collection. And overall, it's just a really good time. So without any further ado, let's hop into that footage and let's go Funko Pop hunting. <laughs> All right, everyone, first stop of the video, we're gonna go to my D pins and collectibles. Let's go check it out, let's see what they got. All right, so this is towards the back of the store, but they do have actually a little bit of sections of stuff. There's a couple things that I like. I already own this pop, Sly Cooper. That was a game that I played a lot when I was a kid on the PlayStation 2. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I do like that Freddy Funko with the Space Needle as well. A couple other things like the Jimi Hendrix, Selena, lots of really cool things in here. I'm gonna see if there's anything else that I can point out to you guys. Just kind of taking a look around. This is a pretty cool section of stuff. And yeah, not bad. Actually, there is a couple of cool things down here that I want to show you that some original stuff like the Red Hulk, Dark Phoenix, and also Anti-Venom. All three of those things are actually some pretty valuable pops. I don't think I feel like I see every day, so I figured I would highlight that to you. This is one I feel like I don't see very often. We have this Batman. Is it like a Lego Batman? Is it DS? Yeah, a little DS set. I think that's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And matter of fact, I look at this one too. I don't think I've ever heard of Phil Bars. That's a Phil Bars exclusive. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think it's maybe a comic book shop or something, but I thought that piece was really cool down there. A couple other really cool ones that I don't think I've seen very often. We have that metallic Oswald rabbit. It's from, let's see, STCC 2013. That's definitely a cool one. A lot of other kind of more expensive pops, basketball, Mickey Abominable Snowman. The Moon Knight, obviously that's been a really crazy pop recently. And a couple other things in here, but yeah, all, all this stuff right here is really cool. All right, second stop that we're going to is Boom Loo. I've heard good things about this place, so I don't know. Oh, there we go, it's an open. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so we're at the main part of the store and it looks like this is where some of their more valuable pops are. And there's actually some things that I don't think I've seen very often so we're gonna highlight those for sure but some of the things that i really like guys like ken griffey nice. jr lebron james i love all those sports figures especially baseball and some basketball i actually do have damian lillard and ken griffey jr in my collection so those are definitely cool to see here but we also have some other like dexter love that pop as well but if we're looking around lots of really cool stuff i love the dark knight batman as well that's a cool one too and if we look over here as well we got some t-bone pops that is crazy expensive. You don't see that every day either. Freddy's Ride. Andy Dwyer, Johnny Karate. That, that's a cool one, guys. I love Parks and Rec. You're in, from the information I got, I just assumed you'd be like 10 years old. Thank you! That's it. Okay, great! I don't know if that's ever one that I'm going to add in my collection, but we have Big Boy, some Moon Knights. Obviously, we saw that at the last store we went to, so it's cool to see this one again. Peter Parker, Obi-Wan Kenobi lots lots of really heavy hitters right here guys lots of good stuff there's actually a couple on this back wall that i really like one that i bought recently i haven't shown it off to you guys yet tony hawk that's a really cool one i love tony hawk guys i loved all the games growing up so definitely a really cool pop there's a couple on this wall that i think are cool as well you got like space jam right there yo gabba gabba that is a strange pop as well but Lots of really cool ones on the back here to kind of check out if you guys want to see any, just kind of maybe pause the video, but lots of awesome figures here. I've also got a couple of different walls here that's just full of stuff. A couple of really cool old figures that I see is like this Captain America right here. That's an old one. Thor, I know that one's been going up with the new movie that just came out, but there was one that I saw right here. I wonder, I might pick this one up. I think that's a pretty good deal on that. I'll have to double check and see, but $30 seems like a pretty solid one on that. But yeah, lots of really good stuff back here, guys. Just so much to look at. And if there's anything else that I notice, I'll definitely point it out to you guys if I come across it. Okay, I actually noticed a section, guys, that I like a lot. So we have some Garfield Pops that are in here and some cartoons, some Simpsons. I actually have all of these ones, but I love to show them off whenever I see them in store and everything. Looney Tunes, Charlie Brown, 
But yeah, I figured I would show those ones to you. Those are some fun ones for sure. There's also another little section that's in here. Nick's going to buy everything in here. He just mm -hmm. told me. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can look in here. Some clearance stuff. And there's actually been some cool ones that I have saw in here. If you don't mind on box condition, like Battle Scar, Battle Scar, Battle Star Galactica. And this one from uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Like there's a couple of like fun little hidden gems in there. If you don't mind like box damage and stuff like that. So anyways, this is definitely a cool section of this store. Lots of really fun stuff to look at. All right, next door we're heading into, we actually went here in the last time that I came with Nick. Amazing Comics, they had some good stuff last time. Hopefully they have some good stuff this time. First thing that I wanted to show off the bat to you guys right here is some Stranger Things pops. So they actually have some of the older stuff like Hopper, Eleven from like kind of the first and second waves of stuff. There's Bob, Joyce, then they also have some from like season three. So like Max, Will the Wise, Dustin. I thought that was kind of interesting that they had all of these in stock. Maybe we might have to pick up a couple depending on some stuff, but yeah, pretty cool to see these. We made it back to their back section, so let's kind of take a look. They do have a couple of display cases in here that has some older stuff. That's worth a little bit more, so we'll take a look at that and we'll also look around and I'll kind of highlight some stuff to you. So Danielle was pointing out to me she loves Arrested Development and she likes that Job pop. That is definitely a cool one. But a couple that I was telling you about, guys, so Stranger Things, they have some more actually back in here. So some of the ones that have gone up in price with the new season, like Nancy, Jonathan, uh, who else? Max, Erica is another good one. So yeah, all of these are actually pretty good. Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly is a pretty solid one. I think that's a decent price on that. Let's see what else. Walking Dead, Ninja Turtles. What, which one? Oh, yeah. Clark Kent. Yeah, both of the Clark Kents from Smallville. Those are cool ones you don't see often. You have some Friends and Buffy. What else in here? Talladega Nights, Ricky Bobby. I love that movie. I don't care what any of you say. I think that movie is hilarious. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Um, you know, you gotta be happy. Tigress back there is a good one new girl yeah lots of just fun things that are just kind of oh Saul Goodman from Better Call Saul that one has gone up in price for sure lots of cool ones though all right in this other side of this cabinet guys there's actually some really fun ones some uh older like animation ones and like cartoons Sesame Street that is always a fun set you got the Count and Elmo Ernie Cookie Monster South Park Ooh, we have the Muppets back there Sam the Eagle I've been kind of debating getting into that set that's definitely a fun one though what else? Yu-Gi-Oh! Smurf, Snagglepuss, there's that Sherman, like Peabody and Sherman. Uh, let's see, what else? Some Looney Tunes, Avatar, Toy Story. Ooh, we also have Gravity Falls, Inside Out. Yeah, lots of good ones, guys. You just kind of have to take a look around, kind of see. Ooh, there's some older Pop Rocks, like, let's see, Steve Jones from Sex Pistols. Yeah, lots of cool ones in here though. All right, we made our way back into this section right here. I don't know if there's really any that I'm gonna pick up. I do love me some older Simpsons pops. It's funny that these are now older or whatever. I don't remember what year. But yeah, you got Scratchy, Chief Wiggum. Those are definitely some cool ones. But just kind of going through, you got some older DC over here, some older like TV show pops like Arrested Developments over there. You got Firefly. Yeah, lots of little things you just kind of have to look through because you never know what you're gonna pass out oh joy how much is that one hmm, 20 bucks that seems like a pretty good deal some dark wing ducks gargoyles y'all have to kind of take a closer look and see what some of these are going for hero hero hamada from big hero six is a good one too but uh, yeah, some good classic Disney ones for sure. Back on this other side, guys, there was a couple that I wanted to show off to you because you know I like cartoons. We have uh, Ickis from Our Real Monsters. And the one I'm actually missing from this set is Crumb. The one, <laughs> probably the weirdest one. But they did have some fun ones like Ren and some old Hanna-Barbera stuff. So I thought that was really cool. Ooh, and Angry Beavers. I actually added these to my collection not that long ago as well. Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle, but yeah, ooh, some original My Little Ponies that are down there too. But yeah, it's fun to kind of see some mixed in things that you don't see every day. All right, guys, we are here at the Brea Mall. We're gonna go to Chrono Toys, I believe, and maybe some other stores. So, anyways, I think we're heading into Hot Topic. I don't know if we're gonna film anything, but that's where we're heading. And as I was saying, Chrono Toys, we're gonna go in, let's check it out. 
All right, guys, I wanted to point out, actually, I always like to start and look at all of their really cool stuff first. So we're looking at some of their bigger pops that are here, at least more expensive, like Tigger, Mare, what else? Some of the NFT ones, like the Big Boy ones, some of the train pieces, Fruit Brew. There is also some Freddy Funkos that are down there that are really cool, Blake Griffin, Connor McGregor. But yeah, some really fun, kind of older stuff that you don't see too often. Coming in kind of to their main section, there's a couple that I looked at that I knew at one point were Target exclusives. I'm talking about the Proud Family Pops. It's kind of interesting that they have these. I wonder if maybe Target had them as a pre-release, but that's kind of a cool newish one, I guess. And also Five Nights at Freddy's. Those ones have been going up in price lately as well. Okay, looks like they have another cabinet of more expensive pops up here. Some Superman ones, Zero and Raw Batman. I remember actually seeing those at Target back in the day. I had no idea they were going to be that expensive, but cool to see that it's to that point now. You have Carnage, Captain America, some Dragon Ball, Signed Fluffy. What else? The Karate Kid Pops, those are cool. You have the Star Child from Kiss, but yeah, definite fun ones in this cabinet. Actually, here's one that I don't think I've actually seen in person before. Specialty sticker. I think this would normally be a game, or no, Target exclusive. Blacklight Scarlet Witch. I think the colors are kind of weird on that one, but it's new nonetheless, and I don't think I've showed it off on the channel before, so there you go. Over here I noticed, looks like they have more expensive pops, but they have like a Chase cabinet. This one I believe is a new Walmart exclusive, the Glow Chase Spider-Man. It's like the Mech Strike one. Well, that's not bad, but if you guys want to take a look at some of those, lots of really fun chases. The next day. All right, folks, consider this a part two of Fungo Pop Hunting. So we're going to go to a couple of different stores today with Nick, Danielle, Charles Collectibles is going to be the first place that we go to. So let's head on in. Let's check out what they got. A couple that I actually noticed. This might be a restock, but I love the top of Tio, man. I noticed that that one's been up on the rise lately. Tommy Pickles is another cool one as well. That's new from the Rugrats. That for some reason, I've seen the other ones. That is one that I haven't seen a part of the set. And then they have some uh, Foster's ones that are some older ones. I just feel like I haven't seen these in a long time. But yeah, definitely a cool little section right here at the front of the store. And then just kind of making our way back into here, guys. Holy crap. This is absolutely massive. There are just so many pops to look at. I'm just kind of walking down. I'm sure that we'll find some grails in here as well. But, ooh, and some autograph pops in there too. Wow. This is a cool store. So if you guys didn't know, Chalice actually does have their own exclusives. Obviously not in this case, but we... Well, actually, no, there are a couple in here. Some My Hero Academia ones, like Overhaul is a good one. The uh, Demon Slayer, is it Inosuke? I don't know if that's how you say that or not. But yeah, a couple of their actual own exclusives that are signed are in this case. I do like Didi. I think that's kind of cool. That's the one I feel like I relate to the most because I don't really watch much anime. But anyways, figured I'd show that to you, kind of showing off some of their exclusives, but also some signatures on those as well. So I think one thing while we're here as well to see if we can maybe find some hidden gems that I know of some that have gone up in price along this wall. Because I feel like I've seen a couple, but I'm not entirely sure. One that I'm thinking of is maybe some of these uh, Five Nights at Freddy's ones, so like Twisted, the Twisted Bonnie and Twisted Freddy. I know some have gone up in price. I don't know if these specifically have, but I feel like we might find a couple gems here. Back here in the back of the store, this is where they're gonna have some of their more expensive pops. So if you guys wanna take a look at that, it looks like it's just a little bit of everything. Ooh, they have Brack actually from Space Ghost. That's down there. That is a cool one. Me and Danielle were actually talking about that. That might be one I need to pick up. Maybe we have to see if there's the other one. I, I can't remember his name. It's me, Brock. Do you want to ride? How far are you going? Cardboard City. But yeah, guys, taking a look at some of those other ones along the back wall. Some ad icons that are up there. A couple of chases. But I might, like I said, I might have to ask about that Brack from, uh, from Space Ghost. Looks like in this case, they have a couple of fun ones too. Ren and Stimpy, some of the Jetsons, some other Masters of the Universe, Space Cadet Chase from Duck Dodgers, a couple of other like Chases and some Simpsons figures going Mr. Burns, Homer and the Hedges. But yeah guys, tons of really cool anime pops that are down in here. Exclusives for all you anime people out there. Bunch of DC, more anime, you got some television more of their exclusives down here for those of you interested in that i forgot that they actually had some office exclusives here at chalice so we have the dwight the michael the basketball ones venomized thor darth maul 
But yeah, a bunch of their own exclusive avatar as well. Forgot they had that one. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. This also seems to be where all of their Marvel stuff is. Doctor Strange Chase is definitely a really cool one that a lot of people are excited about. Agent Coulson's a cool one. I'm trying to see what else we can see around here. But yeah, just a massive wall of a lot of Marvel figures, some Star Wars that's mixed in there as well. Like I said, more Star Wars. I think over here is the sports? Maybe some movies? Yeah, Jackie Robinson, Michael Jordan. Lots of really cool ones to look at though. Okay, back on the other side of the store, guys, they do actually have this display case here that actually has some fun ones in here that I wanted to show to you. So, original Star Wars, some more Star Wars, Star Trek, Labyrinth. So we got Jack in the Box, some Goonies. Let's see, the Fifth Element, UFC. Oh, and Ken Griffey. Anytime I see Ken Griffey, I'm gonna show that one off. I think that's awesome, but definitely a fun case of some cool, some cool grails for sure. Okay guys, I thought this was kind of cool to show off and it's actually signed. Danielle just told me that, I didn't notice, by the person that probably voices Goku. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, let me show you the things that I ended up picking up. So one of the things, one of the places that we visited was Boom Loot Toys. I believe this is where we got this from. This is Sylvester and Tweety. It was a really good deal on this, guys. And whenever I see this, I like to pick it up to kind of compare because sometimes my box that I have for mine is in pretty rough shape. And this one seems to be in a pretty good condition. So we got it for a really good deal. I'm not sure if this is, well, it says it's from 2017. So this is definitely not a restock, but I figured this was a fun one to pick up, like I said, and we'll have to compare box condition to see if it's better than the one that I have right now. But if not, this is definitely a good for trade item that we picked up. Hopefully they make more Looney Tunes pops in the future. I would love to see that guys, but really solid pickup. Another one, I can't remember which store that we got this from, but I think this was a really solid pickup, a really smart one for that matter, but this is the Marvel 80 Years Namor Pop. And the reason why I say this was a really solid pickup is because, well, if you guys haven't seen the new trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Namor is in that movie. So I don't know if this pop will go up in price with you know his character actually appearing in the MCU. Most of the time that's the case with these pops. If a character makes a first appearance in a TV series or movie, usually their original pop goes up in price. So I figured that was a pretty solid pickup, at least speculation wise, but there is Namor right there. If you guys wanna see his first comic that he appeared in, it will be on the back of the box right there. I'm excited to actually see that new Black Panther movie and see how Namor is tied in with that and everything like that. But uh, overall, really good pickup. Wasn't from any of the stores we visited, but from Nick's shop itself, I saw that he recently just got this in with a collection and everything, but I ended up picking up Space Ghost. And Space Ghost Guys was a show, well, Space Ghost Coast to Coast was a show on Adult Swim. It was actually a pretty funny show. I watched it occasionally, you know, growing up and everything like that. But the reason I wanted to pick this up, guys, is because of the recent NFT line. There was a Hanna-Barbera NFT line, and if you completed the set, you were able to get Freddy Funko as Space Ghost. So I don't know if that has any correlation with this maybe going up in price, but I ended up, I think, paying like around like $22, $23 for this. And so I figured this was one that I kind of wanted to add in my collection a while ago. And I figured, you know what? It was in the shop, let's buy it. So this is definitely a really cool one. We'll have to add the other characters that are on the back right there. Zorak and Brack, both <laughs> funny characters in the Space Ghost show. These were the three that we ended up picking up from our hunts and Overall, I thought it was really fun and we visited some awesome places. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Like in the last two videos, what was your favorite thing that I came across or your favorite thing that you saw that I bought? Also guys, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. <gasps>